Here is Florida Congressman Byron Donalds uh, smacking down Democrat, Democrat activist Chuck Todd on NBC uh, talking about how uh, taxes are not for reparations. They're actually to fix things in society. You realize that President Trump has added more to the deficit than Joe Biden. You're some of it's COVID. The, some gonna, of it's COVID. Oh, oh, I, 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 the I most take of it is COVID. Not Let's be clear of it. with about the people. Half of it's COVID. And half most of it's of the it tax is, cut. That is not true because we raised more revenue. We raised more revenue than CBO projected. If you bring in more money than your projections are, how are you adding to your deficits, Chuck? Yeah, and if you pay, if somehow you keep cutting taxes, but more revenue comes into the government, that math doesn't work over time. You can have it in the first first year due to some various accounting. Uh, tricks, but it doesn't work over no, time. No, Chuck, that is not true. The purpose of tax policy is to raise revenue for the federal government, mm -hmm. not to equalize society. After the Trump tax cuts were passed, more tax revenue has come to the federal government than at any other but, time in the history of our nation. Those are the facts. But raw dollars can happen because we do have And a growing, percentage of the economy. We economy. One more thing House Republicans are asking for, which is they want fewer IRS agents. They want fewer attempts to try to properly uh, get tax receipts into the federal government's coffers. I have never understood the resistance of extra IRS agents uh, unless you knowingly cheat on your taxes. Uh, that, first of all, that's, that's salacious and you know that. Most Americans by far pay their taxes and they do it honorably. What House Republicans and frankly the Republican Party is concerned about is having IRS agents go after middle class families and small business owners. When you have right. that many more agents, it's not to go after the rich. It's to yeah. go after the middle again, class. That's again, what it's if, for. So if you're, if you're paying what you're supposed to pay, then you should have nothing to fear. You would make the assumption that IRS audits are up. That they're, they're mm -hmm. putting out more liens on the American people. That's not true. That data is not there. All Joe Biden's trying to do is find every possible nickel out of every couch from every American mm -hmm. to pay for his radical spending. Why would we do that? Listen, let me contrast for you. Mm -hmm. When we passed the Tax Cut and Jobs Act, CBO said it was going to cost $2 trillion. It's actually not true. What ended up happening was the federal government took in a trillion dollars more than CBO actually projected. Um, um, the economy grew another in 1% fairness, over projections. We can't projections. litigate the tax cuts because of what happened with COVID. We don't know how much this Chuck. ate into everything, but it certainly looks like there were going to be fewer revenues coming into the government, but we don't know. In fewer, fairness, fewer there's, revenues no, now. There's, no litig there's, there's no ability to litigate this because of what happened with COVID and the extra spending. That is not true, Chuck. In 2019, we took in more revenue than we ever have in the history of our nation, as bunch of a percentage of our economy than we ever have as a nation. That was 2019. Also added, Tax receipts are still added. up. Now, you may be watching that going, wait a minute, wait a minute, Byron, how does that make sense? Trump t uh, cut taxes and then suddenly the government got more money? Well, you know what happens, guys? When you have more money in your pocket, you start spending more money. Then there's sales tax and a whole bunch more. You start opening more businesses. Then there's payroll tax and a whole bunch more. Businesses start putting more money into the economy. That When the government gets out of the way, that's when the economy chugs along beautifully. Uh, but Byron is, of course, he's completely right. It is not the job of the government to take money from some people to do what it wishes to maybe make it seem like we all are the, exactly the same. That is not the job of the government. And you're going to have to kill, you're going to have to steal from an awful lot of people and you have to kill an awful lot of people to make that happen, which is why in communist and socialist societies, so many people end up dead.